What's up my beloved subscribers? <laughs> this is Richard again for Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to generate layout, HVAC layout in Revit MEP 2017. I have created an exercise or video tutorial about uh, creating an HVAC system, adding system component to it, and then after that, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to use automatic layout tools to review possible routing solutions. Okay, so automatic layout tools provide multiple layout solutions such as network, perimeter, and intersection. So later on, you'll be able to see that one which you can explore using the previous solution and next solution options on the options bar. So layout. So just a definition of layout, it is a representation of the physical connection between the HVAC system components. So for example, you create dock layouts to connect AR system components. Uh, Revit provides tools to lay out ductwork solutions automatically when components are added to HVAC system. So I'm going to teach you how to do it automatically and then later on, I'm going to create another video tutor uh, tutorial on how to do it manually. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to zoom in to this portion. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select one of the air terminal, for example, this one. So from the properties, so you will notice that this AR terminal is already included to a system, right? So the system name is Mechanical Supply AR8. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, okay, I'm just going to deselect that AR terminal and then I'm going to hover my pointer, move my pointer over to that uh, AR terminal. Then after that, I'm going to press tab. Okay, so once you press tab, you will see all the elements or all the components that is included to the mechanical supply air 8 system. So I have 8 air terminals and 1 mechanical equipment. Okay, so to generate now the layout automatically, so this is how we do it. Okay, so I'm going to select uh, 1 air terminal so like for example this one so i select this and then from the modify air terminals there is this tool that is called generate layout okay so generate layout so i'm going to select this and as you can see you'll be uh, going to generate layout tab from here be able to see some of the solutions that uh, Revit MEP suggests. So we have here the solution type, it's network. Okay, so the solution type by default there is network. And then if you click the drop down arrow, you will see another uh, solution. By the way, if it is network, it provides up to six solutions, each consisting of a main segment with branches at 90 degrees from the main segment. The color blue lines here represent the main uh, branch, uh, main duct. Okay, and then the color green is the branch duct. Okay, so if it is network, uh, each consisting of a main segment with branches at 90 degrees from the main segment. So network is the default selection and is most likely to be used in most cases. So another solution is uh, perimeter. Okay, so it provides uh, five solutions that wrap the main segment around the perimeter of the component. And then the last solution type here is intersection. Okay, it provides up to eight actually. After eight solutions, each consisting of main segment routed over the connectors of the components, uh, each uh, solution consists of branches extending perpendicular from the main segment down to the component. Of course, you can still modify this 
uh, manually. Okay, so I'm just showing you uh, one way to create a layout, possible routing solutions that you can modify later on. So let's say the network here. So I can select next. So you can see the other solutions that the Revit suggests, some possible solutions. And then you can also specify here the settings. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use the uh, network. And then I'll check here the settings. Okay, so the dock conversion settings shows you the main dock, the supply air, that is the system type. And then you can see here the dock type that we will be creating, that the Revit will be creating after you generate the layout, as well as the offset height. Okay, if you have other loaded uh, duct here, you can select it. Okay, so that the Revit will create it for you. Same with the branch. If I click the branch, so you can see the duct type, the offset, and then the flexible duct type of the branch, as well as, as well as the maximum flex duct length. All of these you can modify. All right. So let's say I'm just going to select the default settings. So I'll select here, OK. Alright, and then after that, I'm going to select here, finish layout. There you go. See? So that's now the layout that Revit created for you. So from here on, you can decide whether you follow this layout or if you want, you can modify it manually, which is what I'm going to do later on when I created the new video tutorial for that one. So for this exercise, I just uh, show you how to generate the layout automatically after you create the system. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do after I generate the layout, okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to select the entire dock network into the uh, entire dock network of the three rooms one two three so what i'm going to do i'm going to move my pointer over the dock okay do not select yet just move your pointer over the dock and then after that i'm going to press the tab and then i press tab again as you can see it highlights the entire dock network in the three rooms so i'm going to select it why so what i'm going to do is i'm going to size it so from the modify multi select tab so you can see that there is an analysis here and then this is now the dock pipe sizing okay so this is also the tool that you use for pipe sizing what i'm doing now is uh, for dock sizing so i'm going to select this dock sizing and then you can see here the dock sizing uh, dialog box okay so the dock sizing dialog box, as you can see, uh, using the dock sizing dialog box, you can select a dynamic sizing method for the duct work of the air systems in a project. You can select the sizing method to be set along with any constraint that may be need to be considered. Okay, so when you say friction, okay, so you can size your ducting based on the friction. Okay, you can specify this, the friction, uh, velocity, uh, equal friction, and static regain. Okay, so it's very technical designing uh, terminologies, but these are the methods that you can use. So aside from that, you can also select here the options like only. So when you say friction, only. So it sizes duck according to the parameters for the selected uh, method okay for velocity or friction okay for velocity and friction you can use only equal regain uh, static regain all right so when you say and it sizes ducts to meet the parameters that you specify for both the velocity and friction methods or uh, sizes the ducts according to the least restrictive of either friction or velocity parameter. Okay, and then you can also specify here the branch sizing. Okay, you can select calculated size, uh, match, 
connector size or larger of connector and calculated. Okay, so it's more on designing side. So you guys just explore this one. Okay, since I know most of you who are watching this video are all engineers who are doing their designing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, so I'll just use the default settings. Okay, so I use the friction uh, 0.82, so only, and then after that for the constraint, so I'm just going to select here larger of connector and calculated, 350, I'm going to restrict the height to 350, okay, so that the height is always 350, the only thing that will adjust is the width. Okay, so the restriction is 350. So after that, I'm going to select here OK. Right? There you go. So it's now properly sized. Okay, so this is now my model. Okay? Alright, so in 2017, you have this tool wherein you can create uh, 3D view of one section or one object that you select. Actually, this uh, feature started in 2016. So I'm going to select, for example, this dock, and then you will see this option, this tool, selection box. So let's say, for example, I want to see the 3D of this model or this part of the building. So I select one part, or maybe you can just uh, move your pointer, tab, tab, and then click to select. So after you select the connections, so I can select here, selection box, just to see the objects in 3D. There you go, right? So this is now your model that you generated using the automatic layout. Okay, all right. So that's it for this exercise. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments regarding this exercise, you can put it on the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Or if you want, you can also directly uh, contact me by installing Quipspear to your smartphones. Just install the Quipspear and add me. And then after that, I'm going to add you also. Just uh, send me a quip, okay, for you to be able to use it on how or how to use the quip spear. So I included the installation on the description of this video, okay. So once again, this is Richard from Learning with Rich, and until then, you all stay beautiful and handsome. Thanks.